I love storytelling and uh, how a small the story is uh, I always try to convert shoots into a small story and I'm working to uh, to be able to capture some emotion my great grandfather was a photographer and uh, he learned from the British army and he shot the first world war but photography is more like it is that moment so the the mind space you are in as an artist is a little different uh, when you're painting or when you're shooting and i didn't have the money for it man i was like if you give me work i'll buy everything but i don't get work i yeah, i went into a loop you know i don't get work i don't have money to buy this and if i don't have this i don't get work so i had this old camera which was uh, a mamiya press my dad used to use in the 1960s so <laughs> it's one. actually my first camera i made uh, kind of it's custom made this group of guys who used to do all the pink floyd covers and it was tom thurgerson he later became he started a studio called tom studio in terms of inspiration just normal people capturing pictures with phones and small cameras it just it just sparked something in me the way they just it's different from a professional the way they handle the camera or the picture they are looking at or what they like in a picture and what they put up it just there is life in that in that picture they take I try to replay the shoot in my head over and over again. I also sometimes uh, I I get quite tense or I'm anxious and I go to Google and I start typing random a b c d and I try to I just I just get random pictures uh in the search and it, I I get all kinds of pictures people taking pictures of their baby, people taking pictures of their families or some political pictures and I just keep on looking at them. they are completely irrelevant to the shoot but uh, it just sometimes this sparks something in me or cotton chinos and stuff which i wear and uh, i i usually top it up with a t-shirt i am very uh, i think possessive of my shirts and on shoots you know you you get stains and you lie down and you kneel down and I just don't want my shirts to be spoiled but I am quite comfortable in shirts actually it has to have a fit it has to be not like slim slim but it it can be defined as comfortable but with style I like the I like the fabrics I like I like uh, that they had slim uh, shirts and the t-shirts were good fit which i was quite surprised because it's rare to find t-shirts which fit well and then i like uh, the color chinos i like uh, the fits of the pants i like the comfort uh, they were they were like stylish but comfortable even the even the even the even the shirts like they're slim fit but they're comfortable but this is like has a style has the fit but is still comfortable but mostly what i look for is uh, small details like i like the small details on on stuff it's it's subtle it's it's small detail but it's what makes a t-shirt stand out from another t-shirt so there is color but it's it's subdued it's not like loud It's like so many things over the years I've heard, so many things I've tried, so many times I've failed, so many times I've succeeded, so many times I've been blasted, so many times I've been I've I've, I've been appreciated, and all those experiences at one point just come together like that.